Hi, welcome to Data Shark Academy. So far in this course, we learned that by default, Scoop uses primary key of the source table to divide the data range among its mappers. If there is no primary key in the source table, then either we need to specifically set the number of mappers equal to 1 using num mappers or hyphen m directives or use split by directive. Reducing number of mappers to 1 isn't a good solution in most of the cases as it will slow down the import process or even might not finish if source table is a huge table. Split by directive solves this problem. It lets you specify the column which scoop can use to internally divide the data among its mappers. Since scoop is going to use the column that you are providing it to divide the data into its mappers, it is your responsibility to make sure that this column has no null values and the data in this column is evenly distributed across your table. To speed up your import process, if it is a big table, you can add an index on the same column in your source table. Now in order to run this exercise, we need to pick up a table which has no primary key. So for this reason, we are not going to use employees table, but HR table. So let's open MySQL session and take a look at our HR table. So let's describe this table. As you can see, the key column is empty for all the fields in this table. So there is no primary key in this table. Let's see how many records we have in HR. We have about 9488 records in this table. And let's take a look how this data looks like. All right, so we have employee ID and the salary for that employee. Okay, so now let's run the scoop command to import this data into Hadoop. So switch over to the scoop terminal and here we can write the scoop command. Scoop import connect JDBC MySQL sandbox STP Farmworks.com. Scoop is the database name. Username root password is Hadoop. And the table name is HR. Now, this is case sensitive, so make sure you use the same case as the actual table name. Target directory scoop hr so on hadoop side we'll save it as hr table and lowercase then our driver all right and finally split by directive and we want to split it on employee id so the column we had is the employee id okay now enter so it already started importing this table and there are four mappers split up the range of the employee ID is same as in the employees table that's why you see the split size estimated to be 249 but it's gonna be more records than 249 all right, so we imported all the records and it matches with the number of records in the MySQL table. We have 9,488 records. Let's take a look on the Hadoop site. Scoop HR. So as you see, we have four files. Let's open one of them. Just to quickly verify how the data looks. Let's open this at minus 10 
all right so we can see the employee id and the salary columns are imported from the hr table in mysql now we have this saved into a file on sdfs so a quick recap in this exercise basically we imported a non-primary key table and we use the split by directive and this directive basically lets the scoop split the data among its mappers you can use this directive even on the primary key tables because by default it uses the primary key and you can force it to use any other specific column that you think will be more appropriate for your use case okay so try this out and let me know if you have any questions thank you